Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Civi 398 Assignment Guide. So in this Assignment Guide, we're going to be finishing up Assignment 4 with question number 5, the bonus question. And as you guys remember in the previous assignment, I always kind of say, you know what, if you guys don't feel the bonus question, you know what, who cares, it's just a bonus question, take it easy. For this one, I recommend doing it because I made it really easy for you guys, really easy. This is more just showing a fun fact than actually asking you guys to prove something crazy. So... I did it in here for you guys basically just to get extra marks. I hope it's nice and easy for you guys. So the question says, if sigma 1, 1 is 1 MPA and sigma 2, 2 is negative 1 MPA, while all other sigmas, so sigma ij, are equal to 0 at a point on a continuum, prove that the only plane on which the traction vector is 0 is the plane with the normal vector in the E3 direction. So it sounds a little, sounds a little crazy, but it's actually not too bad. Let's go through it and kind of see. So based on the question, we know that the Cauchy stress matrix will have the following form, where sigma 1, 1 is 1, sigma 2, 2 is negative 1, and everything else is 0. And this is just right from the question. So even though we weren't given the Cauchy stress tensor explicitly, we can easily figure out what it is. And we also are asked to investigate the case where the traction vector, which is Tn, is 0. So therefore, Tn is a vector, just 0, 0, 0. And what it's asking us to do is find the normal vector. And it actually already tells us what the normal vector is. It should be 0, 0, 1. But it wants us to prove it. Well, how do we do that? We have to look for a relationship between the stress matrix, the normal vector, and the traction vector. And that crazy relationship that makes this question so hard is simply just the traction vector is equal to the Cauchy stress matrix multiplied by the normal vector. So if we were to substitute all our values in, we have 0, 0, 0 for the traction vector times our sigma, which is the tensor uh, 1, negative 1, and then everything else is 0, times a normal vector. And again, we want to prove that this normal vector is basically a line in the E3 direction. So to do that, all we have to do is look at this, and we can solve this equation. We can solve for n1, n2, and n3. It's very simple, because from this, we'll have three equations, three unknowns. But if you guys just look at this, it's very easy to tell that n1 and n2 must be 0, and n3 could be absolutely anything. And if we have the vector 0, 0, and then absolutely anything, well, that's a line in the E3 direction. So <laughs> it's not that hard to prove, not that hard at all. So again, what the question wants us to do, for what values of n does the statement hold true? All we have to do is show that, and then we're good to go. So this should be a nice, easy bonus question. I want you guys to have those nice free marks, make your guys' lives a little bit easier. Uh, this was supposed to be before the midterm, but now it's actually after the midterm. So hopefully this will cheer you up after you guys get your midterm marks. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. That concludes assignment number four. Yay, good job. I'll see you guys in assignment number five.